Welcome back. My name is Robert Williams, founder of Prophetic Information Ministries, where we blow the trumpet, the shofar around the world, informing you with prophetic news and bringing God's miracle ministry to the world. This is part three of my teachings of Robert's update on July 2nd, 2011. I have so much to say right now kind of hard to get out but this is a warning to all mankind not only to mankind but to you personally watching me here on this video I would encourage you to tell your friends and family especially if they're not saved to listen to this I'm not here giving you any bull not here to deceive you. I'm here to tell you the truth. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for me to wake up. It's time for this world to wake up all around the world. Pay attention to what's going on. And if you do not change your life, I'm sorry to say, you may end up in the pits of hell. A place where you do not want to be. And I don't want to see you there. I want to continue to reading about this great gulf fixed. I'm going to continue reading. Dives heard a crying soul praying. If only on earth I have been warned. No, oh my God. No, I wouldn't be here in such a furry place. If only on earth I had been warned. Today, people, you have been warned. God has been warning people for years. God's prophets have been out there preaching and teaching. Dives continued on his journey through the eternal nowhere. Oh my God, said Dives. There are tunnels of flame in every direction, hills, valleys, mountains, as far as I can focus, streams of flowing lava. Far into the midnight distance, a light gleamed, dives hoped, grew high. I must investigate that gleaming light. Racing toward the gleaming light, Dives wondered where it led. Passing tunnels of flames, wading through streams of flowing lava, Dives started into the gleaming light, or st st stared at the gleaming light. At its jagged edge, Dives stood in horror. Oh my God, said Dives. There is a great gulf fixed. Look up Luke 16, 26. Continuing on, hell's horror of the broad road. Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Hell's broad road Rimbles and reminders of an escalator. There is hardly any elbow room on hell's daily traveled confetti highway. There is definitely no turning around. Hell's broad road, like an escalator, shuffles its daily crowded travelers on their non-stop one-way trip. Unknowing just around the unknowing just around the bend, Christless mankind, deceived by Satan, shared in the total horror because there was no way, there was no more road to travel on. Hell's oceans of flame, fire just a breath away. In desperation, screaming, terrifying lost souls clinging unto one another 
starting below into sizzling flames, in blackness of darkness forever, striving to hold on to one another, but to no avail. Hell's escalator rapidly rotates, spins wherever, forever, lost screaming Christless mankind without ceasing, plunging headlong into hell's awaiting eternal flames below. Is this what you want? Do you want to end up in hell's eternal flames? I sure don't. I don't want to be there. And I don't want you to be there either. And if you want to change your life today, then repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. And I come humbly before your throne. And I ask for, for your forgiveness, Lord Jesus. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me of my unrighteousness. Come into my heart. Live your life through me. Guide me and keep me safe. I love you, Jesus. And I thank you for dying on the cross for me and saving me from the pits of hell and from myself. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul and writing my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer and you honestly meant it, you will be saved from the pits of hell. But keep up watching the YouTube teachings, not only mine, but others. There are other warnings. Listen to them. Listen to what God is speaking through His prophets today. God bless you all.